This short video will help you get started with FME Server. We'll go through three basic scenarios, data loading, scheduling, and data download. The workspace we're starting with loads an Esri shapefile into a database. The first step is to publish your workspace to FME Server. Enter the username and password you set up during installation. In the next window, we'll choose a repository. Here's where we can pick the services we want to use. For our first scenario, data loading, we'll leave only the job submitter checked. After publishing the workspace, we'll move to the FME server web interface. Click Run Workspace and navigate to the one just published. Choose the source file and click Run Workspace. We've now made it easy for any user to upload a revised version of the data set from a web page. The next scenario we'll look at is synchronization. Automatically synchronizing the data involves creating a schedule. We'll set it to start immediately, then automatically run once a day at this time. Click OK. Now the schedule will automatically migrate the data into the destination database once a day. In our final scenario, we'll go through how to enable users to extract data on demand. This FME workspace was set up to convert to a file geodatabase. It was then published to FME server with the data download service checked. The workspace has a published parameter, feature types to read, meaning an option was exposed so the user can control which database table to download. Now any user can download this data through the FME server web interface. So that's how to set up three basic scenarios with FME server. For free tutorials, training, webinars, and other resources, visit safe.com.